head on over to your local Dollar Tree. Cut all the flowers off of the stems. Then place each flower stem into the hole of the strainer. Then bring the strainer full of flowers outside to your porch. Place inside a large empty pot. I picked out one of these giant disco balls from Five Below. I've got to remove the hanger. Just remove a few more of these little glass pieces, just like that. Now we're gonna work in this glittered pine stem. So we're gonna place one sticking straight up and then we can place one on either side as well. Going with the silver theme, we also have this really pretty spray. Now we have some of these really pretty ornament sprays. I have one of these inexpensive plastic ornaments and I wanted to do something for winter. So what you're going to do is just secure the wire. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut a little piece of styrofoam and then we're gonna glue these to the top of the ornament. Now we're gonna take our greenery and begin inserting it right into the styrofoam. Now it's time to come back in with some decorative picks. This project starts out with a wire coat hanger and I am going to take it and I am pulling it now I'm going to take a block of floral foam, some zippy ties, and I am going to attach the floral foam to the wire hanger. Now I'm just going to start adding the greenery to this. I'm just going to stick some berries in here. And I also grabbed some pine cones when I was out. I'm using the same planting formula I used when I'm doing my summer planters, which is thriller, filler, and spiller. I'm gonna use this common pine as my spiller. Now that I have it filled in with the pine, I'm gonna start adding some different spruces to give it some more height in the middle. I'm gonna add just a few sprigs of juniper with some pretty blueberries. I'm taking some large pine cones and I'm gonna hot glue the stick onto the pine cones. And I made two pine cones for each of my planters. I have some red winter berries we're gonna add right in the middle. Now I have some pretty ribbon and I'm gonna make a really simple bow to add to the planter. Some branches from my yard and I'm giving them a coat of copper spray paint. I added a string of lights to my planter and now I'm just gonna pop in those branches. To start this project, I ordered two of these hanging baskets. I want to add a piece of felt. Next, I want to attach the baskets together. I'm going to add a couple of zip ties. I want to start with some greenery that's going to fill up the whole orb. With the basket all covered, it's time to use up some of those Christmas balls I have. Next, I want to add some sprigs of icy greenery, some berries, and even some pine cones. I've grabbed some white craft paint and I want to use this to start adding faux snow all over the greenery and ornaments. I started by planting two mini pine trees on each side of the window box. Then I placed some cedar and pine sprigs all around the center of the box. I also added in a cedar garland and laid it all around the window box to fill it in more. Once I was happy with the placement of all the greenery, I decided to add in some gold picks. After placing all the picks around the window box, I added in some Christmas lights to give it some extra sparkle at night. Grab some pine cones, place some rocks in a planter, add in some greenery, place the pine cones on top, hot glue together to make them higher, add in some fairy lights. Start by mixing together one cup of Epsom salt plus one tablespoon of clear or white glitter. Apply a thin layer of Mod Podge onto each glass vase and then sprinkle some of the fake snow on top. Continue this process around each vase. Showcase this adorable display with some battery operated tea light candles and some string lights. Head to your local salvage, vintage, or thrift store and pick up some white glass globes and thoroughly clean the outside. Crack open a bottle of decoupage glue and thickly brush the glue all over the glass globe. Hold the glass globe over a large bowl and sprinkle ground glass glitter over the entire globe. Gently press and pat the glass glitter onto the decoupage globe and then shake off the excess into the bowl. You will want to spray the globe with a clear spray adhesive. Take a string of twinkle lights and stuff them inside the glass globe. I headed to my fridge and emptied out a pickle jar. I cleaned it really well and removed the label. I'm going to be using this thick jute twine that you can pick up at the dollar store. Hot glue works beautifully to adhere the twine to the jar. Now that all six pieces are in place, I want to cover the tops of the twine and the jar rim. Next, I want to add some of the twine around the jar. 
$2.50 for this rubber ball, but I've got to use glue to hold the first ball to the base. This is construction adhesive. The next step is to grab some expanding foam. What we gotta do is go around the base with the expanding foam. Once it's held down, go up and down the sides and all around, we have to get a black ornament, take the top off. We're gonna put that in place while this foam is still sticky. Now it's time for the second layer. Foam on that, it's time to go to a third one. Always put a layer of the expanding foam down between the two because it's so sticky, it's gonna hold it in place. We gotta make the eyes, mouth, and the nose. And then what we're gonna do is put it in place. I cut out this wood round, took a planter, glued it in place. Let's go ahead and put it in place. Putting out some snowflake shapes that you like and cut them each out. Place your snowflake under a piece of wax paper. It's glittery fabric paint and squeeze it out onto the contact paper, tracing the snowflake underneath. Let it dry for 24 hours. Coat your wax paper with some non-stick cooking spray. This will prevent your hot glue from sticking to the wax paper. Squeeze your hot glue onto the wax paper, tracing the design of the snowflake and let it cool completely. Carefully peel your snowflake off the wax paper and then wash it to get the cooking spray off. Paint Sparkle Mod Podge onto your snowflake. Sprinkle with glitter, let it dry completely. I bought glitter glue sticks from the Dollar Tree. Let it cool completely, tie some fishing line onto your snowflakes and they're ready to be hung. Head over to Goodwill and grab a variety of dishes. Place the taper candle onto the protective surface. Add some glue to the top. Place a candy dish on the top. Start by placing a vase upside down and add a bowl to the top of the vase and place a votive holder on the top. Let that dry for 24 hours. With one of the socks from Dollar Tree, cut off one end. Add a rubber band to one side of it. For the other piece of sock, cut alongside so that it opens up into one long strip. Then cut one long strip from that sock. Place the hat on top of the votive holder and then add the scarf to the neck. Embellish the front if you'd like with some ribbon and some pine. Add a tea light into the candle holder. So we're gonna flip this over and use a can opener to take off the bottom. This is gonna allow you to get the ice lantern out nice and easy later on. So grab a few rocks and fill up the smaller can. We're gonna place the little can inside the big can and fill it up with water. The goal here is for the water to go around the sides and the bottom. Once we have just the amount of, right amount of rocks so that the can floats, grab some painter's tape or some masking tape and we are gonna secure the small can to the large can. So once everything is secure, grab some Christmassy or winter floral pieces. So I'm just gonna cut off some stems. You're just gonna start sticking those floral pieces into the can. It is time to freeze this. When it is frozen, pull it out and head over to a sink. You can pop that bottom cover off, pull the tape off, and then I'm just running some warm water over the can. It's gonna melt the ice just enough to pop this out. Remove those rocks from the middle and then fill that middle can with warm water and that will slide right out. 